It seems as John Venables might start counting his days living in anonymity. At least, this is what the father and the uncle of James Bolger hopes to achieve. Welcome back to True Crime News. If you are new to our channel, welcome aboard. I'm your host, Ted Corner. If you're interested in true crime in general, consider subscribing. Let's jump right into the news. In December of this year, a legal action against John Venables' long life anonymity will be taken. This new step in the murder case is taken by the father Ralph and the uncle Jimmy of James Bolger. It wasn't actually possible to take the anonymity from Venables, but James Bolger's father and uncle won the right to challenge John Venables' lifelong anonymity after he has been jailed twice for child porn offenses. It's the High Court anonymity order granted to Venables in 2002, the two men will try to get removed from the killer. The latest re-offense took place this year where he once again was caught with indecent images of children. Both James' mother, Denise Fergus, and father Ralph Bolger attended the Old Bailey when Venables were sentenced in February of this year. The injunction was granted in 2002 on the basis that Venables was rehabilitated and would not reoffend. Socialista Robin Markin from the Bulgers said, But he has been convicted twice and sent back to jail due to indecent images of children, most recently in February. Venables was jailed for three years and four months after he admitted he had been surfing the dark web to find extreme child abuse images. Besides, he was in possession of a sickening pedophile manual. He got charged after the police found more than a thousand indecent images on his computer. This was the second time he was caught with images like that. On arrest, he told police he was plagued by stupid urges. Judge Sir James Mungby told the case would be heard by the new president of the family division, Sir Andrew McFallon. A hearing will take place on or after December 3rd of this year. The hearing will take place at London's High Court. It has been estimated to take two days. The hearing will be held public. Briefly about the murder case. If you want to know more about the case, please watch our other videos where you will find lots of information. The link will be on the screen and in the description. James Bolger was only two years old when he was abducted, tortured and murdered by two 10-year-old boys in February 1993. The two boys who committed the gruesome crime turned out to be Robert Thompson and John Venables. The murder shocked Britain as well as realizing the killers were kids themselves. The crime made the two boys the youngest killers in newer English history, and they became public enemy number one with millions of Brits. The two boys snatched James outside a butcher shop in a shopping center in Bottle, Maryside. The abduction took place when James' mom popped into the butcher for only a few seconds. She had been holding James' hand all the time. She only let go of his hand for a few seconds to pick money from a purse to pay the butcher. Two days after James went missing, his mutilated body was found on a railway in Walton, Liverpool. The police connected the dots when they found video footage where they could see little James walk away with two boys. Venables and Thompson were found guilty of killing Bolger in November 1993 and were sentenced to custody until they reached 18. After serving eight years behind bars for the brutal torture and murder of little James, both Thompson and Venables were freed in 2001. Both boys were granted new identities and lifelong anonymity. But in 2010, Venables was back in jail for violating the terms of his release by possessing child porn. It was revealed that Venables had downloaded and distributed more than 100 images of child abuse some involving victims as young as two being raped, and he had sent messages to another pedophile where he claimed to be a married mother who abused her eight-year-old daughter and offered to sell access to the child. In 2013, he was freed from prison for the second time after a recommendation from the parole board. 
At that time, Denise and Ralph Bolger said they were filled with terror by the decision to grant parole to Venables. We will follow the case closely and keep you updated with any news in the case, so please stay tuned. If you want to be sure to keep up with the latest in true crime, consider subscribing and remember to click the little bell to get notifications when we have a new video up for you. To get all the news we share, make sure to follow us on all our social media sites. you find the links in the description.